प्रिंस बोलो जपति राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय आज शक्ति नव दुर्गा देवी माता की जय प्रिवर सजन आप लोग कराओ जाए प्लीज स्टैंड विद ज्वाइन on this the third and the final night of our three nights of satsang glorifying and praising our lord god mariyada purushottam bhagwan shri ram pavan putra hanuman swami with faith and with love om vakra tunda mahakaya koti surya sama prabha निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवाद या देवी सर्वूतेषु सरस्वती रूपेण संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम एवरीवन टुगेदर गुरूर ब्रह्मा गुरूर विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवे नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओं अखंडमंडलाकार व्याप्त ये नाचराचर तत्पम दर्शित तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओं श्री अनुभवानंदय नम ओं श्री चिन्मयानंदय नम ओं श्री गुरुदत्ताय नम ओं श्री सत्यसाईश्वराय नम ओं तपोवनाय नम
Shotam Shri Ram, Prabhu, may your light shine in our hearts, our homes, and may your light shine in our country, Trinidad and Tobago. May your light shine in the world, Prabhu. May your light shine with Didi as she celebrates her birthday tonight. And may she always be that light in her home, in the life of her children and grandchildren. Hey Prabhu Ram, may you, may you remove the darkness of this dark age of Kalyug that affects us in such negative ways. Malaharani Vijaya Rasakti Ki Ali Malaharani Vijaya Rasakti Ki Subhaga Sudara Mokti Yubati Ki Jalana Roga Bhava Yeah. 
together to pray. Let's all pray together that there be peace in the heavens, the earth, and in the other region. May peace be in our hearts, our homes, and our lives. May peace be in our country. May peace be in the world. Hey Prabhu Ram, hey Mahavir Pavan Putra, salutations. Shanti and Trixubam Shanti, Prithavi Shanti, Apah Shanti, Ushati Shanti, Vanaspati Shanti, Vishwati Shanti, Brahma Shanti, Sarvagam Shanti, Shanti Deva, Shanti Kama, Shanti Nidhi, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Prince Buludya Pati Ramachandra Ki Jai. पवन सुत हनुमान की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय आपको आसन लीजिए प्लीज बी सीटर प्रिंस बोलुझा पति राम चंद्र की जय। It's with great pleasure, my friends, once again on this very blessed and very auspicious night for Didi Chandra. Today she celebrates her birthday. It's a milestone in her life, and she chose a very positive way to celebrate this very auspicious and very blessed occasion in prayer, in devotion, and in giving thanks to the Lord and Divine Master for whatever she would have achieved. Together with her family and friends, and of course her children, and now her grandchildren, her three grandchildren, may the blessings be upon you, and of course your beautiful family, for all the sacrifices that you would have made throughout your life. May you forever be blessed to enjoy, in terms of good health, peace, and eternal happiness. Tonight, my friends, our discourse will be taken from the golden pages of the. Shri Hanuman Chalisa. I haven't chosen a verse as yet, but we will do so in a little bit. But let me say a special welcome to Sankhya Television and our beloved Shri Omkar Ji. We say welcome to you, Omkar, and to those viewing on Sankhya Television. We pray that may the blessings of Shri Ram Chandra Ji and Hanuman Swami reach your hearts and homes now and always. To Pandit Vishal for having conducted puja this evening. Special thanks once again, Pandit Ji, and may God bless you. And your beautiful family. We'd like to also acknowledge the presence of Dr. Misser, and of course our beloved Sri Gosai Baba and his beloved Dharma Patni. Baba, once again, thank you for coming and thank you for gracing this family with your divine presence. We'd also like to acknowledge the presence of Brother Chris Singh and his wonderful Dharma Patni. Special, special thanks to him and his wonderful family as well. As we. Prepare ourselves for Ramayan Sumiran. We want to invite you now to sit back and relax. Gently close your eyes. As Tulsi Dasi takes us to the lotus feet of Mariyada Purushottam Shri Ram, Lakshman Bharat Shatrugna, and of course his beloved Sita, together with Mahavir Pavan Putra. Mentally tonight, my friends, take these few moments to say thank you, Lord. Take these few moments to surrender, to surrender yourself, to surrender life, and in surrendering ourselves, we gain strength, physical strength. For those who are healthy and strong. And for those who are not well, the powers of healing. Hey Mahavir, hey Pavan Putra, hey Sankat Mochan, hey Mariyada Purushottam Ram. 
आपको हम कोटि कोटि प्रणाम करते हैं प्रभु वी टच योर फीट नाइट मिलियंस ऑफ टाइम्स टू एक्सटेंड योर लव एंड ब्लेसिंग्स योर हीलिंग टच दोज वन ऑथ वेल्थ मे योर ब्लेसिंग्स रीच द हार्ट्स ऑफ योर डिवोटीज देयर होम्स एंड देयर फैमिलीज एंड लव वंस मे योर ब्लेसिंग रीच अवर कंट्री ट्रिनिडार एंड टेगो मे वी नॉट लिव इन फेयर मे वी नॉट लिव प्रभु frighten each day of our lives for safety may you bless those who are living a negative life that they can change and we pray for them tonight may you bless those who have bad intention that hurt the feeling of others prabhu siya ram mai sab jag jani karahu pranam jori jug pani we know that you are seated in every heart and you bless our intention prabhu May the evil forces and negativities never hurt us as you bless our country tonight most importantly may your special blessings be upon our hostess Shrimati Chandra Didi together with her children and grandchildren and dear families if she did not initiate this idea we would not be here tonight lord if she did not reach this age to celebrate we would not be here we thank you for blessing her with life we thank you for blessing her with health we thank you for blessing her with the love and the respect of her beautiful family may she always be blessed with that respect for living in this world without respect from our loved ones is like not living at all living in this world without love from our loved ones is like not being alive living in this world without health is like not being alive prabhu may you bless her and may you continue to guide and protect her may you bless her children and grandchildren and the future generation of this family with safety peace and eternal happiness as she celebrates her 60th birthday We thank you Prabhu again and again Jo so mera ta Siddhi ho Ganana
पति रामचंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय देर इज सो मच ऑफ नॉलेज दैट कैन बी गिवन वन वी स्पीक ऑफ हनुमान स्वामी but our knowledge itself is so limited that we really cannot go deep into the vastness of who hanuman ji really is we know from the words of tulsidas ji that he is the greatest bhakta of maryada purushottam bhagwan shri ram we know that he is always having the lord enshrined in his heart even at the time when it was tested when he was tested after having given sita devi the pearl necklace shri ram gave sita devi a pearl necklace and she thought that the best person to have this was hanuman and he showed my friends when she, in fact when she gave him the pearl necklace he looked at it and every bead of it he looked through every one of them on every side and when he realized what he was looking for was not there he simply bit each pearl and burst them in two and was looking inside them and when he looked inside he didn't see what he was looking for and again he threw it away 
through them away. And this is something that everyone would have heard so many times before. When Hanumanji was asked what he was looking for in those pearls, they are so precious. You know, girls, all the girls who are here tonight, females, if somebody give you a pearl necklace, how you'll feel? Imagine that. <laughs> Did he? Imagine for your birthday tonight, somebody bring a pearl necklace and give you. Huh? Oh, you got it for your 50th birthday. Oh, wow. Well, you're well showing off on me tonight. <laughs> so you look at the, you know, the girls and the females, they would look at the pearl and say, wow, that is for me. And they would be breathless and speechless. And they would look, I know, take it and put it on. And Hanumanji looked at it and it had no value to him. Because what he was looking for was not the outer beauty of the pearl, nor the cost of it ever sunk into his mind. The value of the pearl to him was seeing the name of Sri Ram on each pearl. He wanted the name of God to be on the pearl. Each pearls. When that wasn't there, he simply burst them and threw them aside. The people and the monkeys who were there, the people who were there, they said, why Sita Devi gave a monkey? They could have given us, after all, how can a monkey not know the value of the pearl or the value of the pearls? And you know, my friends, the people who were there in Ayodhya, surrounded by Sri Ram, be attentive for a moment. The people who were there in Ayodhya, who were surrounded by Sri Ram and surrounded by Hanumanji, had known about all the glories of Hanumanji because this was at the time when they had returned from Lanka after killing Ravana. They knew Hanumanji had crossed the ocean flying. They knew Hanumanji had destroyed the demons while crossing the ocean. Simhika, Surasa, uh, what's the other one? Lankini. And all the demon, demoness, and, and of course, he went into Lanka, uprooted the trees. He proved to Ravan his greatness. By this time, all the people of Ayodhya knew the power of Hanumanji, but a big capital B U T. They are looking at Hanumanji and saying, A monkey is a monkey. He doesn't know the value of pearls. My friends, in the snap of a finger, the people of Ayodhya at that time, they forgot about all that Hanumanji had achieved. And you know what? You may work your life. You may sacrifice yourself. You may achieve great things in life. But in the snap of a finger, people will forget us, did he? People will forget the great things that we do and the great things that we are doing just like that. Just like that. It has no, what you call, value to them. In spite of all the sacrifices you make in life, it can be forgotten in the twinkle of an eye. So, Hanumanji, my friends, at that time wasn't valued for who he really was, but he was just being judged on his action of throwing away some insignificant pearls that had no value to him. And you know what? What really mattered and what really va had value for him was the name of God because he knew by this time, after accomplishing what he had accomplished, uh, using the name of the Lord and chanting the name of the Lord, etc., etc., the name of God to Hanumanji was tried, tested, and proven. Just tried, tested, and proven. Not everybody who tries the Lord's name and tests the Lord's name will be able to approve the Lord's name. My friends, when we choose to chant God's name and when we do job, etc., we must do it with selfless love. We must do it with faith. And once those two things are there, selfless love and faith, the miracle of the name of Bhagwan will certainly come to us. And this is what Hanumanji demonstrated and proved to the world. And did it tonight, our number one gift to you. May the power of the name of the Lord always be with you. Because it is only the name of God that can really cross us. Not in a physical way. Only, but certainly in a mental way, in a spiritual way, the name of God will cross us over the ocean of any situation in our lives. And tonight, 
I want you to choose one verse or any verse, the first verse that come to your mind out of the 40 verses of the Hanuman Chalisa. What are you watching she for? <laughs> oh, she wants, okay, tell her, help, help her. We have another discussion here. <laughs> First verse that come to your mind. Third verse. Let's see what Mahavi. Oh, that's the third verse. Mahavira Vikram Bajarangi. So let's see what the third verse have for us tonight. And Didi, we dedicate this verse to you completely. May the power of this verse itself forever be with you on this your. Blessed birthday. What does it say? Jai Hanuman Gyan Gun Sagar Jai Kapi Sati Holo Kaujagar Ram Dut Atulit Ban Dhamma Anjani Putra Pavan Sutana As dedicated, we dedicate this to her. It says here, Mahavir Vikram Bajarangi Kumati Nivara Sumati Kesangi Kanchana Varana Viraj Subesa Kanana Kundala Kunchit Kesa He, that Hanumanji, who the people at that point in time valued the pearls more than the qualities of they thought the pearls was more valuable than what Hanumanji was doing. Friends, I want to make one important point. And I want you to remember this. You see, all the good that you do may not always be remembered. All the sacrifices that you have made in life will be forgotten. It's just the way of the world. Don't feel bad. And don't feel that you are less than who you are. Hanumanji used that. And he, my friends, lifted himself even more. How? By consecrating that name of the Lord in his mind, and not only consecrating the Lord's name in his mind, but the Mangal Murti of Sita Devi, of Sita Devi and Sri Ram in his heart. And when he was asked, you are looking for the name of Ram on the pearls and you didn't find it, you know, like the gossipers. Last night we mentioned a little bit about the gossipers. The people who always try to find things to say about you. They say, but they put their hand on the waist and say, like you have God in your heart. You know how they're well chumpy and thing and say? It, you're looking for the name of Ram on the pearls, like you have Ram in your heart. How do you know? How do we know tonight what did he have in her heart? Why should we judge her? Hmm? Why should we judge people? Why should we uh, be negative? To just jump out and just judge someone. Every story has two sides. Every story has two sides, my friends. Don't just listen to one side of anybody's story and believe it and judge person number two in that story. Or the second character in that story. Don't jump to conclusion. You will be harming yourself. You will be taking sides. You don't take, we don't take sides when, my friends, we hear the stories of others. And so they questioned Hanumanji and said, 
like you have Ram in your heart? And Hanuman ji, he said, yes. My Sri Ram is in my heart. Don't you all know? My Sri Ram is in my heart. They said, yeah, right. You are a monkey. They're still telling him he's a monkey. They said to him, if Sri Ram is in your heart, then would you tell us, in fact, would you show us? And Hanumanji, my friends, the Sabha became absolutely quiet and silent. Didi, you could have heard a pin drop. When Hanumanji said, Jai Shri Ram. Devi and Sri Ram is not only in his heart while he opened his heart. My friends, the Mangal Murti of Sita Devi and Sri Ram was within. But he said, not only in my body, my tongue, but he is also in my mind. Mere man mein basse hai Ram, oh mere tan mein basse hai Ram. in our thinking be careful be very careful of how you think be careful of how you lose sight of the greatness of people be very careful my dear brothers and sisters of being negative when it comes to our emotions our mind and the way we carry about ourselves <laughs> से पहले हनुमान जी दौला गिरी ले आए उठ बैठे लक्ष्मण जी लेकर उठ बैठे लक्ष्मण जी लेकर श्री राम का नाम बोलो पवन पुत्र मन में बसे
के रावण ऐसे ना घबराए पल चपकते हनुमान ने लंक में आग लगाए बोले प्रभु के साथ मिता कर बोले प्रभु के साथ मिता कर रावण का अभिमान बोलो पवन पुत्र all these powers and friends while the people at that point in time had forgotten about these powers there are great souls who will always remember you I want to repeat that while those who should remember your powers and your greatness forget there are some who will never forget you and you see the people's whose heart you would have touched tremendously those are the ones that will never forget us my friends they remember the glories of Hanuman Swami and Tulsi Dashji was one of such person that remembered all the glories and the greatness of Hanuman Swami because my friends Tulsi Dashji was a saint and a saint don't look at anyone only with the biological eyes a saint look at everyone with the spiritual eye did he our second gift to you on the first night we spoke about the Jyoti Bindu everybody has a spiritual eye but some of us it is closed may God bless you from here moving forward that your third eye be open and when that third eye is open you will see the greatness of not only God but you will see God and his greatness in everyone this is what my second gift to you tonight is and the verse that you chose tonight was Mahavira Vikram Bajrangi Tulsi Dashti remembered this greatness of Hanuman Swami and he called him Mahavir he called him as Mahavir Maha means great and Veer means power. The one who is strong. But we all know, my friends, that we just not, does, does not only need what you call physical power, we need mental power, we need intellectual power, we need spiritual power. And if I were to ask you, what is physical power? What is physical power? Physical strength. Go to the gym. Watch now, man. <laughs> See some power here. Go to the gym. Exercise regularly. The doctor, doctors will tell you tonight. And always, when you exercise, burn out the calorie, calories. Don't put in too much of fat into your body. Eat the right type of food. Don't eat in the night after six. <laughs> you see how we just get yourself in trouble? But tonight is an exception. <laughs> you know, we're not supposed to eat after six, right? Supposed to give the body enough time to digest the food and 
not eat so much of calories in the night so that your glucose level will not spike during the night or at any point in time rather so that in that way we control the glucose level in our bodies anyway the doctor will talk to us about that afterwards we have real doctors here tonight one two doctor missel three and next, the next doctor gone jai bhagwan in the back anyway so to keep the body healthy and strong and powerful we need to exercise regularly we need to eat the right type of food and not just eat the right type of food but eat the right type of food at the right time every day that's in that way we gain physical strength what about mental strength mental strength comes in a different category mental strength we need to first of all get the mind and the emotions under control we just can't be emotional beings we have to be strong mentally and not allow the emotions to run wild because every person we meet every situation we experience and every experiences of life will create a different emotion does that mean that our minds will be constantly on the rough waters of life is it that the mind will be constantly rocking like a boat in the ocean where there is high winds and the weather is challenging and the boat just keep on rocking my dear friends imagine your mind like a boat in the rough waters of the sea what will happen this is what creates a person or a person to feel upset if you're in a boat and you have a strong tummy and that boat is continuously rocking regardless of however strong you might be in in terms of your stomach you are going to get seasick eventually doc where is the doctor one in the back he have more experience not not the one all the way in the back the one with the green coat <laughs> you know very i think it's a over the counter drug when your stomach is upset what do you take you see i know it's a over the counter thing <laughs> take some gravol and you get the stomach settled right when the mind is upset what do you take hmm when the stomach is sick you take gravol you can do two things you know you can either take gravol or jump off the boat but you better know to swim <laughs> if you jump off the boat you better know to swim friends mental gravol didi said you connect your mind to jivatma to paramatma connect your mind the jivatma to paramatma and you keep the mind as calm as peaceful and in meditation as possible let me not use the word meditation when people hear the word meditation they think that is some big spiritual thing meditation just means sitting quiet and listening to silence that's it connect the jivatma with paramatma sit in an upright position oh forget about upright position lie down if you want but make sure your mind is on the lord or the lord's name that will help the mind to get calm for a moment it will prevent depression it will prevent what you call you know depression leads to what depression leads to hypertension hypertension leads to perspiration and perspiration leads to frustration and frustration leads to cremation <laughs> well it have a different order you know but <laughs> the final thing is we end up in the cremation my friends the point we are making is we are not we are trying to not get the mind depressed we have to have mental strength now be attentive a person with physical strength a person with mental strength who is able to control the emotional state of the mind keep the mind balanced in the rough waters of life do not allow the boat of your mind or your mental state to get carried away by the waves of life's ocean keep your mind strong chant the lord's name sit in silence japawe bhagwan ka naam chant the lord's name go on a pilgrimage go in the forest and sit down under a tree quietly get the mind under control 
Let me ask a third question. How do you get intellectual strength? Where do we get intellectual strength from, Zandra? Hmm? Naturally, books, we get knowledge. Intellectual strength means knowledge. But friends, it have many people with quali high qualification, PhD, um, LLB degree, have their law degree, they have their masters, they have the doctorate, they have people with lots of great uh, academic qualification. But unfortunately, my friends, academic qualification is not spiritual qualification. The intellect does two things. The intellect wants two kinds of knowledge. The intellect wants academic knowledge to sustain our life in this world, no doubt, never stop studying. And the intellect wants self-knowledge. Our third gift to you tonight. May you, as you celebrate your birthday today, Didi, your body was born 60 years ago, not you. The real you is a pure soul. The real you is a peaceful soul. The real you is a divine soul. You are beyond this body. She, my friends, is simply celebrating the birth of her body. And that's a great achievement. It's a wonderful achievement. The body is important. But intellectual knowledge means that we must also have knowledge of who we really are. Your true self is peaceful. My friends, every one of us are peaceful human beings. You can't imagine how peaceful we are because our mind sometimes makes us feel that we are real miserable. And that's why you hear people sometimes say, you know, I depressed, I frustrated. I don't know why I get up this morning. Imagine for someone to say that. Why I get up this morning? Some people are so grateful to get up with health. And sometimes healthy and strong people say, I don't know why I get up. You know why? Because of what they are going through. And we, we empathize with them and we pray for them tonight. For people who are feeling that way. But it shows that they are intellectually weak. While they might have high qualification, their PhD and masters and whatever degree they might have. Having your masters doesn't make you a master. Sadly, Sad to see. Having a master, your masters, doesn't make you a master of yourself. Scriptural knowledge makes you a master. Now remember I am explaining the word Mahavira. So physical strength, mental strength, intellectual strength. Friends, understand who you are. And I want you to repeat after me three times tonight. Repeat after me. I am a peaceful soul. Oh God, let's say like, let's mean it now. <laughs> Come on. I am a peaceful soul. I am a peaceful soul. I am a peaceful soul. I am a divine soul. I am a divine soul. I am a divine soul. I am a pure soul. I am pure soul. I am pure soul. Let this be your mantra. And when you say this, over and over with your eyes gently closed. You not only say it, but you feel it. And you're not doing meditation. Nobody could do meditation. Meditation then happens. I wish this wish, not only for Didi tonight, but I wish all this wish for every one of us tonight. You see tonight, I cotton the cake with you. <laughs> No, I'm just joking, right? Anyone are going to cut the cake and make a wish? But I wish, without the cake tonight, that all of us,
feel that peace. Now, friends, a person who is physically strong, mentally strong, intellectually strong, that person who knows his true identity and his or her true identity and knows that they are a pure soul, that person is called Mahavir. That person is called Mahavir. So then the question is, who can be called Mahavir? Anybody can be Mahavir. So Tulsi Dashi knew that Hanumanji was not just a physically strong person. He knew that Hanumanji was a mentally strong person. And he knew that Hanumanji knew all the Vyakaran. He knew Sanskrit and many different languages. Vyakaran, he was the master of Vyakaran. He also was intellectually strong because he knew who he essentially was. He knew his true nature. He knew that he was Satchidananda Swarupa. He was of the nature truth, consciousness and bliss. And he knew that Hanumanji was not just an ordinary monkey, but he was established in his true identity. And that's why, my friends, when Bhagwan Sri Ram, be, be attentive and remember this, right? When Sri Ram asked Hanumanji, he said, Hanumanji, you are such a wonderful person. You are so sweet. Sri Ram looked at Hanumanji and he says, can I please ask you something? Hanumanji immediately put his hands together and he said, Prabhu, you know that you can ask me anything. And dear Sri Ram asked Hanuman, he said, how do you feel about, how do you really feel about me, Hanuman? You know, like a wife asking the husband, how do you really feel about me? Or the wife asking the husband, husband asking the wife. Or the, you know, when we love somebody like that, it could be children asking their parents, mom, what do you really think of me or dad? But I want to ask you all tonight, suppose God is asking you this question, how do you really feel about me? What would be your answer? Imagine the Lord is asking you, please tell me. Remember the bhajan that says, Tere dwar kara bhagwan re Tere dwar kara bhagwan bhagat bhar de Imagine the God, the Lord is standing at your door and came asking you for something. I know you will give him everything. But asking tonight, how do you feel about him? What you would say, friends, to make a long katha short. Sri Ram, having asked Hanumanji, how do you feel? Hanumanji put his hands together and he said, My Lord, I this is what I want everybody to remember. Never forget this. He says, Prabhu, the way I feel about you, when I look at you functioning in this world, performing your Leela, your Manushya avatar, I am your servant and I will always be there to serve you. But when it comes to you being the Lord of the universe, you and I are one. We are not separate. In body we are separate, but in soul we are one. Shri Ram smiled. 
and he embraced Hanuman Swami and he said Hanuman you are truly you are truly a devotee of mine and the saints and sages they would glorify him and say by saying Goshpadi Kritavarisham Mashaki Kritarachasam Ramayana Mahamala Ratnam Vande Nilatmajam Jai Jai Bolo Hanuma Lakshman Janaki Ram Lakshman Janaki Jai Jai Bolo Hanumanaki Jai Jai Bolo Hanumanaki Jai Jai Bolo Hanumanaki
जान की महिमा की ऊपर है चोर युग पर नाम की जान की महिमा की ऊपर है चारों युग पर मान की उस पर दाता साथ My friends, Sri Ram recognized that Hanumanji is not just an ordinary being, and Sri Hanumanji recognized that Sri Ram was not just ordinary. Now, Mahavir means that anyone can gain these powers, but we have to have physical strength, mental strength, and mental balance, intellectual strength, academic knowledge, and self knowledge, Atma Gyan, Brahma Vidya. And in terms of spirituality, we be able to perceive Sri Ram or God, but according to how you know Him, in the hearts of all. Once we are able to achieve this, we become also Mahavir. Once we are able to achieve this, we also become powerful. And Didi, Mahavir Vikram Bajrangi. Veer also means a man of courage. Let me not say a man. Veer means a person who have courage. And a person with courage, my friends, strength and valor. Therefore, this also makes Hanumanji Mahavir. Now, there are five experiences in a person's life that we must show strength. There are five experiences when we must show strength. Number one, we must have the ability to withdraw we must have the ability to give up that which is not good for us that is called tyagavir if you know somebody or something or some situation is not good for you drop it give it up but yeah you think we could do that hmm did he you think we could give up attachment just like that? If somebody, something, or some situation is harming us more than is good for us, can we really give it up? If you can, then you are practicing first thing, tiaga. Tiaga means the ability to give up that which is not good. So, the glories of Hanumanji, from this one word, one name of his, Mahavir, means that he is able to give up anything that is not good for him. I bless, I, I pray that we all are blessed that we can give up that which is not good for us. The second Veed is called Daya Veed. A person, let me go back to the first one for, just for one thing. A person who is able to give up that which is not good, that person is strong. It takes a really strong person to give up that which is not good. Dayavir. Second one is Dayavir. And Dayavir means a person who has real compassion. A person who has compassion, that person is really strong. Viryavan, they are called. A person who has compassion, it's called, that strength is called out of Daya. Daya means Dayavir. And Dayavir means a person who is really compassionate and not just feeling sorry for somebody. Bhagwan Sai Baba says, 
Daya or compassion is not feeling sorry for somebody. Compassion is doing something to help the person or people you feel sorry for. Remember that. Compassion is not feeling sorry for somebody, but doing something to help somebody who you feel sorry for. That's real daya. So daya veer. The third one is called, the third strength that is important, is called vidya veer. Vidya veer means a person who is knowledgeable is very powerful. And that's why they say, especially for the young people tonight, I want to dedicate this one to you. Remember, knowledge is power. And, for, and not only the young people, but all those who are studying. Now we could study until we 60, 70 years, people are studying still. So there is no limit to studying, but knowledge is power. Always study. Always try to gain knowledge. But at the same time, knowledge must be married to good character. These two things go together, knowledge and good character. A person with knowledge but no good character will always fail. They will fall like, they will melt down like, what do you call it? Baji. As he comes saying, eh? boil on like Baji man. A person with knowledge and no good character will boil on like Baji or they melt like snow. But a person with knowledge and good character would always rise and always shine. So knowledge is weird, knowledge is power. For the younger ones, I want to say, gain your knowledge, but also maintain your good character. Third, fourth one. Daya, rather, yes. Danavir. Danavir is the fourth one. And what is Danavir? Danavir means that a person who have the ability to give. There are so many people who have, but they can't give. And they always feel as though when they give, they're going to have less. Not only you, you know, me too, I put myself in that category. Sometimes, if we are not strong, if we are not Dani, Dani means to give. And not everybody could give selflessly without looking back for something in return. So Dana, no, not Dana, sorry. Yes, Danavir. Danavir means the ability to give. It takes a strong person to give charity and not look back or not want their name to call. Man, sometimes when we give something, eh, we want to make sure. It reach on TV, you know. <laughs> Omkar. <laughs> if you give something, a real giver is one who says, don't even call my name. I was looking at a TikTok video. And there is one that always pops up with a, 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 a it's an American boy, I think he is. But it seems as though he likes to give and likes to reach out to the homeless people. So today I saw one. When I want some little inspiration, I go to, not TikTok. <laughs> I go to inspirational things and that came up, you know. And he saw a homeless man who lost his home during the COVID time and he lost his leg. So he lost one leg, I don't know how, probably in the fire, and he lost his home. So he now in the street on a wheelchair. So he went and he saw the man rolling his wheelchair coming up the road. So he walked up to him and he said, you know, I'm really sorry. Um, I, I didn't have any food today. Can you please give me something to eat? Now you imagine he asking a homeless man, right? But he's just testing him. And the homeless man said, yes, of course, I could give you something to eat. He said, I have something here. I have one more pie that I got remaining. You can have it. And the homeless man took that one pie and gave it to the guy. And the guy took it and he said, really? You really giving me your one pie? You have one leg, you don't have a home, you're living on the street and you're giving me your last pie? Do you know where you're getting your next meal from? He said, no. But you, I want you to have this. If that was me, I hold on to my pie. You know? <laughs> I didn't give away that last pie. But it shows, my friends, great people 
Great givers might be one who do have nothing, but yet they give. They say, there is a saying that some people, some people are so poor. Some people are so poor, all they have is money. Some people are so poor, all they have is money. My friends, this man, I'm going back to the TikTok story, right? This man, the young boy, he took the pie and he looked at this homeless man and he said, Sir, why did you help me? He said, because you asked me, you tell me you're hungry. He said, okay, come. And he rolled his chair behind him and took him to a car, a brand new pickup truck. Well, in America, they call it pickup truck, right? But what we call a, a van. And he rolled the wheelchair there and he said, on that van, there is a television, but you don't have a home. But that van is yours. And he took the keys and he gave it to the man. And the man started to cry and he, of course, he said, how come? I, I don't deserve this. He said, yes, you deserve it. From today, he will not be rolling on two wheels, he's rolling on four wheels. <laughs> and the man said, you know, son, that car will be my home. So you did not only give me a car, you gave me a home. Friends, not everybody could be, no, sorry, not everybody could have the ability to give what they have. May God bless us to be givers and not take us, uh, take us. You know, can I ask you all something? What is, I don't have to phrase it like this. What it is that you must never take from somebody? You know, like they say, like when in the Ramayana itself, you know, Shabari, she was old and had dirty clothes and stuff, and um, they said, don't take water from them. Or don't take food from certain people. Don't eat any and anywhere. Tell me something. What it is you should never take away from somebody? Never. Hmm? I can't hear. What? Salt? <laughs> A child's of salt, yeah? <laughs> hmm? What is that? Pride? In my opinion, this is my humble opinion. Never, what, what you said, babe? A person's name? Okay, name. But you said pride? Never take somebody's pride? There's so many things that you can't take and should not take from somebody. But friends, there's one thing, in my opinion, we should never take from anyone. Never take somebody's happiness. Never take somebody's peace of mind. And you know how we take it? We take away people's peace of mind and happiness by giving them. Hmm? Bad words. We take people's happiness by giving them bad words. We say bad things to them. And we hurt them from the inside I tell you something a long time I didn't say this you know it is better to take a sledge don't do this right, just an example <laughs> it is better to take a sledge and go in a temple in a church and a mosque and break it down you may not inverted commas get any sin but you see, when you take words and break somebody's heart, 
You could go to any temple, any mosque, and any church in any part of the world. You can't build back that heart. Give love. Give inspiration. Even though we can't make somebody happy, you can do what you want, you can't make some people happy. Say what you want, you can't make them happy. But be a giver. Give inspiration and give love in your own way. Whether they take it or not, doesn't matter. Anyway, to make this much shorter, Mahavira Vikram Bajarangi. Danavir means to give. Be a giver, not a taker. And the fifth one is called Ranavir. Ranavir means, you see, all this I talk about tonight just came from this one word, Mahavir. That's just one word. Fifth one is called Ranavir. Ranavir means a person who is strong when they are facing battles in life. I know, maybe, maybe not, in your 60 years of life, you would have had probably many battles that you would have had to encounter and face. But today you are proudly sitting with your children as the inspiration in their lives. And now your grandchildren will look up at you. And there are so many around you, your nieces and your friends and all the loved ones who are here tonight would look up at you. And they will also get the strength to face their battles in life. May God bless you to be the strong mother that you are May God bless you to be the strong Aji that you are. Daughters have any children? Only two boys. And may, so you'll always be an Aji. So may God bless you to be that strong Aji that you are. And you know what? When your friends come to you and ask you, girl, how you did it? You will be able to say to them how you face your battles. And that is what you give. When you give that kind of advice and that kind of support and that kind of morals and values, that will never die. May God bless you. That's the meaning of Mahavir. Vikram Bajarangi. He, my friends, is also the one who has the power, the Vikram. Sri Ram himself, like I said, sung his glories. But Hanumanji, my dear brothers and sisters, is indeed so pure that by singing his glories, we become purified. And that's why Mahavira Vikram Bajrangi, you know, just the, the Vajra. Can I ask you all, you know, when you look at certain television station, you hear about the Mukdar? Is there a man with a mukdar? <laughs> he always shines mukdar. That mukdar is called vajra. Right? And that vajra, do you all know that you all have a mukdar? You all have a vajra? Everybody? Some people in the khakis have a little mukdar. You have one? Not in your khakis, you know. You don't have one? You have one? You have one? I wonder if I should actually tell me which part it is. I'm sorry? Oh, your grandchildren playing with that one? Oh. <laughs> Do you know you have your mukdar right now? Here with you? Yes, you have it here with you. Did you just agree with me or no? Do you all know you all have your, your vajra with you? I will tell you what it is. I just talked about it a little while ago. But Mahavira Vikram Bajarangi, your Mukdar and my Mukdar is our words. Hanumanji took his Mukdar and beat Ravan and all the demons. But we take our words and beat others. Friends, I want to ask you tonight. Let us not use our words to hurt anybody. But what about when we get upset? What we'll do? We have to shout, we have to yell sometimes. 
Ava, young supporter there, you know. <laughs> he said he had to quarrel, eh? Yeah? What's your name, babe? Huh? Joshua? I had to change your name tonight. Your name is Mahavir. Right? Either Mahavir or you can use Veer as your name. I give you the name Veer tonight. Okay? Huh? Veer? Okay, so you are Veer tonight. So you are Veer Joshua. My friends, Hanumanji is that inner strength in all of us. And so, when he went into Lanka, he took the Vajra and he conquered the demons. He destroyed the Ashok Vatika. And again, he returned to Mother Sita. In fact, he went to Mother Sita. And when he returned to her, she gave him the blessing, Ashta Siddhi Navanidhi Kedata. The blessing only a mother can give. That may you be faster than the fastest and better than the best. And may you always grow in strength to strength. She blessed him, Ashta Siddhi, Anima, Lagima, Garima, Prapti, etc. May you become lighter than the lightest when you want, heavier than the heaviest, faster than the fastest, or may fire never burn you, etc., etc. And Hanuman got that blessing from Mother Sita. Ashta Siddhi and Navanidhi Kedata she gave. When she gave that blessing, you know what happened? The devotees were happy. And they also contributed their blessing to him, like they did earlier when he was a small child. When he went and tried to swallow the sun, Indra gave him the Devata Shavad blessing, you see? When the Devata Shavad your blessing, my friends, in the fire God blessed him that fire would not burn him. Lord Indra told and from today, no thunderbolt can ever hurt you. And what they did, they showered their blessing and they all started to dance in the heavens when Sita Devi also blessed him. O Jan Parakripa Karo Hanuman, O Jan Parakripa Karo Hanuman, Jan Parakripa Karo Hanuman, Jan Parakripa Karo Hanuman, Jan Parakripa Karo Hanuman, Jan Parakripa Karo Swami and they said indeed 
she, the mother, have no sanction of a blessing. My friend, Anumanji prostrated before Sita Devi, and he said, Ma, I can take you now back to Sri Ram. But I am not allowed to do this. Sri Ram did not give such instructions. He wants to come himself and take you back. Sita Devi had thought for a moment that Sri Ram had forgotten about her. But my friends, pure love and true love never dies. And Sri Ram and Sita Devi, the mother and father of the universe, is acting this ordinary role, Manushri Lila. And she told Hanumanji, told Sita Ma, Sri Ram is going to come himself. Therefore, my friends were happy and Hanumanji he took this blessing of Ma Sita and you know he was able to do all the miracles that he did and showered his grace even till the day upon the devotees of the Lord and the second line of this verse simply says as we final message tonight Kumati Nivar Sumati Ke Sangi A person who has kumati, that person is can never be happy. Please don't name your girl children kumati. <laughs> kumati is not a nice name. Name if you have to name a girl child and you want a nice, well, name sumati. Su means beautiful. And mati means intelligence. A person with beautiful intelligence, that person is called sumati. And a person with crooked intelligence is called kumati. All we have to do is simply ask ourselves, do we have sumati or do we have kumati? How do you find out? You find out by I will give an example and then conclude tonight, right? Example is Oh, let me ask a question. Is it better to have a straight body and a crooked mind? Or is it better to have a straight mind and a crooked body? You see, he's really weird, you know. I'm getting all my answers tonight. <laughs> you all heard what he said? It is better to have a straight mind and a crooked body than to have a straight body and a crooked mind. That is the meaning of kumati and sumati. Kumati means a person with a straight body and a crooked mind. And, a, and sumati means a person with a straight mind and a... No, 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 no. That doesn't mean it. Kumati means 
a person with a crooked mind and a straight body. And Sumati means a person with a straight mind and a straight body. <laughs> we don't want to have crooked bodies. But just like, you know, Mantara, Mantara in the Ramayana, had an, she had a crooked body and a crooked mind, unfortunately. So, that is the meaning of Sumati Nivara Sumati Ke Sangi. He, my friends, he had all the virtuous qualities. He took away all kumatis and all negativities from our lives. He is Hanuman. Tonight, I wish all of us would always have Sri Hanumanji in our lives and may the power of Hanuman Swami always be in our hearts, our homes and our lives. And especially to you, Didi Chandra, on this your 60th birthday, we wish you. Bar bar din ye aaye, bar bar din ye gaaye, to jiye hazaro sa. Hey, meri hai arzu. Everyone together. Happy birthday. You cook food tonight? <laughs> Them sounding real hungry. <laughs> nice hot food. I'm 
Santanaki. I would like you to take the first piece of cake that you cut and please offer it upon the altar and then you will take your piece. So it becomes prasad.
श्यावर राम चंद्र की बर्थडे गर्ल की केक की पर माय फ्रेंड्स एस विश हर हैप्पी बर्थडे एंड वी प्रे दैट मे भगवान ऑलवेज ब्लेस हर इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ हर लाइफ नाउ एंड ऑलवेज सो दिस टाइम वी हैव well wendy sent me a note here she says pandit ji the vote of thanks will be done by my handsome helpful and humble son ravin so ravin <laughs> yeah 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 sita ram namaste uh, good evening to all um no i am not ravin this is this is ravin but um Oh yes, still handsome. All right. <laughs> so yes, come. You So, mommy. Yeah. On behalf of Raven, myself, our families, we would like to wish you a hearty, sincere happy birthday. Um 60 years milestone. not much people these days reaching 60 years so we have to thank god for that um and we wish that you see many more to come okay and um we love you and for 60 years doesn't she still look young and beautiful yes. you agree yes for 60 years when i was young i thought 60 was so old and <laughs> look at that <laughs> so You like to say something? Okay. Raiden would like to, my son would like to say something. Happy birthday. Hi. <laughs> Sing happy birthday to grandma. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to grandma. Happy birthday to you. Ding. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right. So That was so sweet. Okay, so now I pass uh, on to my brother Ravin for the vote of thanks. Ravin. So, Sita Ram, and namaste to all. Um, you had the privilege of listening to the firstborn and the favorite. <laughs> now you have the privilege of listening to me, the second and the awesome one. So, uh, we all know why we are gathered here, and I've been tasked. and it's my honor to give the vote of thanks for this um three night celebration some of you may have recalled or some of you would not have known that on her 50th birthday 10 years ago unfortunately we had a medical emergency of which i could not have been here for the most of the celebrations and one decade later we are here um it was not my medical emergency it was a family's medical emergency um So one decade later we are here we are able to stand and gather as a as a family and wish her happy birthday and as Rajiv just said not much people have that privilege so first and foremost the first thanks we must give is to God for allowing us the opportunity to be alive in good health and to be here secondly pandit abednanan as far as i can remember i know my mother wanted this occasion and as far as i can recall i know she wanted you <laughs> to be here so we on behalf of the deby family i would like to thank you for the insightful um, motivational inspirational and educational messages you have delivered to us and devotion and our home thanks you sincerely pandit vishal Thank you very much for accommodating us and also educating us on um puja and conducting the ceremonies for three days for us a familiar face to our family and he has been very supportive to us we say thank you to Pandit Vishal to the musicians of our family extends um our thanks to you all for the uplifting and melodious music you have delivered for the past 3 days and this beautiful decor we have to say thank you to um Dan decor by Dan Mati for her very elegant design and to all for delicious meals every night um 
Mr. Hawaii and his company, um, Layers of Flavor. Thank you for pre um, preparing and serving us every night. And of course, all family members and friends who have helped mommy. Um, she's not quite a public speaker, but I know for sure she would be very, very grateful for all the support you have given, both physical, emotional, and spiritual. In any way possible, in any way that you have lended support, she would be very, very thankful for. And to you, the audience who have been attending here and come out in the numbers to partake in um, the celebrations and devotion and prayer. Despite the rain today, you have made the effort to be here and our home thanks every, each and every one of you. So I hope I didn't forget anyone and I will now pass you on back to Pandit. Thank you. Thank you very much, Raven, for expressing gratitude on behalf of your beloved mom on this very special occasion of her life. Friends, without further ado, let us all please stand as we join in the final Purnahuti and, of course, the final Arti. Om. Do you like the boys? Please, boys, you all come and touch hands. If you can come with your families, yeah, bring the kids, bring the kids and come. that sat down last night. Come, touch hands. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachati Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishati Om Sarvam Vai Purnagvam Swaha Paparam Divyam Gangayam Nirmalam Jalam Achmanyam Mayadattam Grihana Parameshwaram Om Vanaspati Raso Bhuto Gandhadyo Gandharuttama Agriya Sarvadevana Dhupoyam Pratigrayata Everyone lift your hands and receive the blessings of the Yajna. Om Sarva Devi Devtaya Namaha. Let me also join with the family in saying thanks to all of you having come. And of course, also special thanks to Gosai Baba. Baba, once again, we want to thank you for your blessing and your presence with your beloved Dharmapatni. May your family always stay blessed. And wherever the soul of your beloved Pitashri is, may there be peace and Shanti. Shri Yeah. 
उसकी शोभा है विष्णु में उसकी शोभा है मोहन से तुलसी ने जब शीश झुकाया धनुष बनी काना के वंश राम की माया राम हिटाने कर कर में श्री राम बोले बोले हनुमान बोले any mistakes or me may you please kindly forgive us may your grace and blessings be upon chandra ji and of course her wonderful children and grandchildren her siblings and nieces and nephews and the loved ones the friends and families who are here tonight were here last night and night before may your blessings be upon those who will be viewing on sankit television may your grace reach far and wide as we thank you now and always शिव हरे शिव राम सके प्रभो त्रिवेदता परिवारन हे विभो अच जनेश्वरया नव पाहिमा शिव हरे विजय कुरु मे वरम शिव हरे जय कुरु मे वरम कमलोचन राम दयानिधे हर गुरु गजर शक गोपति शिवतनो भव शंकर शिव हरे विजय कुरु मे प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल प्रतिदिन कुशल जय मंगल माता च पिता बंधु च सका मम देव सर्व मम देव ओ य 
तत्र योगेश्वर कृष्ण यत्र पार्थो धनुर्धर तत्र श्री विजयो भूति ध्रवाणी धीमतिर्मा ब्रह्म ब्रह्म ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मनाथम ब्रह्मती न गंतव्य ब्रह्मकर्म सीना वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सूर्य आदि नवग्र भगवान की जय श्री कैलाशपति शंकर भगवान की जय तुलसी देवी माता की जय नव दुर्गा माता की जय पंच तत्व देवता देव्य की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय हर हर नम पार्वती पते हर हर महादेव प्रेम से बोलिए सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय जय सीताराम प्लीज हैव यू फ्रेंड्स यू रिसीव योर आरती योर पंचामृत योर प्रसादम मील्स आर प्रोवाइडेड फॉर एंड ऑल विद लट्स ऑफ लव महाप्रसादम बी सेफ एंड ऑफ कोर्स बी ब्लेस्ड सो मे गॉड ब्लेस इच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू नाउ एंड ऑलवेज ओम शांति Sitaram everyone On behalf of my group I would like to wish Miss Chandra a happy sweet 16th birthday Please give her a round of applause
It's an explosion of low, low prices this Christmas and Bright Ideas Christmas Sale. With 25% off flowers and Christmas flowers, 25% off curtains and ornaments, 25% off Christmas balls and decorations, 25% off selective toys, plus a big 50% off chandeliers and lighting fixtures. All while stocks last. So shop early and save more this season and Bright Ideas. Located in Rio Clower, Princess Town, Point Fortin, Gold City, Maribella, and Shabuanas. Bright Ideas, bringing happiness home. This year I've chosen three simple words. T, together. W, with. O, for the word overcome. Together with faith, we'll overcome the challenges that the new year will bring to us. The acronym for the year 2022. Sit around. All are invited to the Ganesh Utsal Foundation's All Year's Night Satsang, hosted on Saturday, 31st December 2022, at the Diwali Nagar Auditorium. Satsang begins at 9.30 pm. Officiating is Pandit Sunu Sitahal Maharaj, with live broadcast on Sankhya Television. We at Sankhya Television would like to wish the management and staff of Bright Ideas Limited, Home Decor and Lighting, compliments of the season. Your support over the years is truly appreciated. May this year be a prosperous one for you and your company. We look forward to our continued relationship in the years to come.